Hello everyone, Christine McKee here from the Emerging Technology Team. Did you know that your Microsoft class team comes with its very own OneNote class notebook? Now, in order to dive in and start using this class notebook for productivity and workflow with your students, you do have to get started by setting it up. Let's walk through those steps together. So here I am in my demo class team, and I'm simply going to click on my class notebook here in the left navigation. And again, this is the first time that I'm going to be using the class notebook with my students, so there's a little bit of setup involved. To get started, let's click on set up a OneNote class notebook. Notice that I can choose a blank notebook, or if I have an existing OneNote class notebook that I've set up outside of Teams, I can actually set this notebook up based off of that notebook. In this case, we're gonna choose a blank notebook. Here's what you'll get in your class notebook for your Microsoft class team. You will get a collaboration space that's accessible and editable by all the members of the team. That includes you, the teacher, and all the students. You will get a content library that you, the teacher, can edit to add content that you will push out to your students the students can only view content that's added inside the content library. You will also get a teacher only section. This is a private space for you, the teacher. This is a perfect space for you to plan upcoming lessons or assignments. You can edit any of the content that's added to the teacher only section and the students cannot view this content until you push it out to the content library or to students' notebooks. In addition to those three spaces, the collaboration space, the content library, and the teacher-only section, your students in the class team will each get their own private notebook. You, the teacher, can edit the content that goes into the notebook and students can edit their own content. They just can't view any other student's notebook. Let's go ahead and click Next in the bottom right corner of our screen. Now, let's take a look at how we want to set up the structure of our class notebook. So remember, you will have a content library and a collaboration space, as well as that teacher-only space but your students' notebooks by default will have the following four sections, handouts, class notes, homework, and quizzes. Please note that these sections can all be customized and tailored to how you want to structure your year. Once you've planned how you want to structure this class notebook, you can go ahead and add sections or remove sections. Keep in mind that you can always add new sections for your students later on while you're using the OneNote class notebook. I want to organize my students' notebooks by unit. So I'm actually going to remove two of these sections and rename the first two to unit one and unit two. Keep in mind that I can build pages and sub pages inside of each of these sections. And as I said before, if I need to add any additional sections to my students' notebooks, I can do that while we're using the class notebook. So now that I have structured my student's class notebook, I'm going to click Create in the bottom right corner of my screen. This is gonna take a moment for Microsoft Teams to set up our class notebook. In the next video, we'll take a tour of our class notebook to explore the different sections available to you and your students, as well as to explore the student's private notebooks.